Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan. Today I'll have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll show you how to use free Microsoft Word on your Chromebook. So there are mainly two ways you can use free Microsoft Word on your Chromebook and the first way is kind of a usual way uh, which is going to uh, the free online version. I'm going to show you uh, within a second. And the second way is kind of like a you know, unique and uncommon way. And I'm going to show you that. So stay until the end of the video. So you know a different way to use Microsoft Word for free on your Chromebook. So the first way you can use Microsoft uh, Word on your Chromebook is by uh, going to the online version. And in order to do that, uh, what you need to do, you have to type, uh, open up a Google browser and type Office 365 free, which I have it right here. So I'm just going to bring this a little closer. So you can see that I typed in Office 365 free. And if you hit the search button, then this is going to search for the free version which is the free online version. So you're going to get the match, which is going to be here, free Microsoft 365 online. So basically any uh, Microsoft uh, applications, for example, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, they are now under uh, Microsoft 365. And that's how you're going to go to the online version. So if you click here, Then it's just going to give you, uh, ask you to buy uh, on the first uh, kind of like in you know, a sentence. So we'll just skip that. And then here you can see that use Word, Excel, PowerPoint and it more for free on the web. So in order to do that, you have to actually sign in. And if you haven't, uh, do not have a password or login ID, you can just create one. So assuming that you have a password and login ID for Microsoft. So I'm just going to click uh, sign in, which is going to be right here. Then you can see that it opened a new browser and then it's just you know asking you to sign in so i'm just going to uh, see if it signs me in automatically so what happened i signed on to this computer before so that's why it's signing me automatically uh, but if this is your first time then you have to enter your email address for microsoft uh, or live and then uh, you have to uh, just like an entry of password then it's going to bring it to this page now here you can see that message that uh, the office app is becoming the new microsoft 365 app uh, so basically what i just told you that everything is under the microsoft 365 for example word excel so if you'd like to open uh, open a new word doc so all you have to do is just take a look on the left side kind of in the middle you're going to see that you know there's the word uh, so if you click here so once you click here which is the word then it's going to ask you to new blank document uh, to open one so if you click here and uh, let's see what happens now you can see that you, see you have microsoft word online version so this is kind of a, like a trimmed version it doesn't have all the features uh, of the regular microsoft word but this is good enough to get you going you can just like you know create a document and let's let's let me just write something you can see that i just wrote hello so you can write like you know you can create a basic microsoft word but you may not have access to the all the features and some like you know uh features which are not available here but this should be good enough for most of us and then this is how you can access microsoft word for free by going to online on your chromebook now we're going to talk about the second way you can use microsoft word for free on your chromebook so this is the second way to use microsoft word for free on your chromebook and this is a very unique and special way not many people know about this so in order to in order uh, for this method to work you have to email yourself a free microsoft word document so for example here you can see that i emailed myself a free word document from a windows computer where i have microsoft word installed now, if you do not have Microsoft Word installed on your computer, then you can just ask your friends or family to uh, email you a copy of the blank Microsoft Word document, which is right here. So I have a kind of blank document. And now if you click on that email, let's see what happens. Okay, so now you can see that uh, we can view the Microsoft Word document and it's asking you to open with. So what I'm going to do, let's just, uh, see open with here you're going to see a few options so choose google docs and then this is going to open up 
a separate uh, tab which is going to show your word here so you can see that you know this is the Microsoft uh, doc it opened and if you take a look here what uh, the name of the document you can see that it has the doc x extension so what it means that actually this is a Microsoft Word version opened by Google or opened by your Chromebook on your Google Chrome browser so anything you save here or write here is going to be uh, saved as a Microsoft Word and then you can even email yourself back this document and if you open it from another computer which has Microsoft Word installed then this is going to be exactly as a Microsoft Word doc which I'm going to show you right now so let's say I'm just going to write here something uh, for example today and you can see that this is being saved by Google Docs which you can see right here that is being saved so now if if I'd like to email this word doc back to my email then what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a new email and we'll touch this document so for example let's go back to my email and then I'm just going to write compose and then let's uh, send it to my other email so i'll attach the doc we just created and email it to myself and i'll just you know uh, open that email from my another laptop which has microsoft word installed so that way i'll show you that you know this is going to work so this is the email i created and if i go to attach and then this is actually going to the google drive on this computer or on this chromebook and now what I'm going to do, I'm just looking for that doc uh, we just saved or we just modified, which is right here, uh, Word doc test, and then open. So now what happened, this email has that doc, which is right now a Word doc, but it's on Chromebook. And now I'm just going to send it to my this email, uh, which is not actually my email. I just use, use it for test purposes. So now I sent it. So what's going to happen here that if you open that email from anywhere uh, from like, you know, another computer which has Word or which even doesn't have Word, just like Chromebook, then you're actually having a Word document. Uh, so let me just, you know, put it away. And I'm just going to bring my Windows computer right here and let's see if we have that email yet but you can see that i have the uh, document here and if i open that email and if i click on it then it's going to open i, I have the capability to open as a word doc so in order to do that what i have to do i have to just kind of like you know uh, install that or download that on my computer and this is just going to download it here and if I click on open file and then you can see that this is opening as a office file which is a word doc and you can see that it has the word today which I just modified on my Chromebook so basically I have the word doc but it was not actually word doc on my Chromebook but I was able to like you know modify it and in order to do that all you have to do you have to just you know email yourself a blank word doc and you can work on the doc on your Chromebook or from any other computer uh, because that's how uh, uh, Google or Chromebook has the capability to work on uh, Word doc under uh, Google Drive and then if you just email it back to it yourself and open that from any computer which has Microsoft Word then it's going to open exactly like here we have as a Word document so this is a unique and a different way of uh, using um, free uh, microsoft word on any chromebook and uh, not many people know about this so for the next chromebook tips and tricks video i'm going to put a link on the screen and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching